Advanced Takedown Tree Stands presents The Hunting Grounds. Also brought to you by Eagle Seed, Four Wheel Concept, Nose Jammer, Dirt Nap Gear, Spy Point, Bowtech, Cross Country Camo, Hook Line Sinker Outdoors, Shea Bug Designs, Tradition Game Calls, Jato Gear, Popeyes of Northwest Arkansas. Well, welcome back to the Hunting Grounds. I'm excited to introduce to you Season 5 of the Hunting Grounds. Guys, over the last few years, we've been incredibly blessed by your support and your viewership, and we've got some big stuff planned for this next year. And we've got some great sponsors on board, and we've got a lot of stuff that we just can't wait to bring to you. We've got turkey season coming up, and we're going to continue our semi-life hunts. Right now, we're starting on some of our management practices, and in between this part of the season right now where we're just kind of waiting to go kill turkeys we're kind of getting stuff together we've been working on some different stuff and one of the things I'm excited about we just installed our new Jotto gear cargo slide in the back of the THG legacy truck and I can't tell you how excited I am for this it's gonna save my back because we travel a lot and when we travel we pack the back of that truck full and you're climbing up in there you're getting up in there underneath the camper shell, leaning over, trying to grab stuff to pull out, and it's not all that easy to do when you've got a seven and a half inch lift from Four Wheel Concepts. So I'm extremely excited about that, and I can't tell you how excited I am about the cameras that we just got in today from Spy Point. You guys got to check those out. We've got the HD2, we've got the HD, and one I'm really excited about is a brand new stream that we're going to bring you some crazy turkey hunting action with. But let's go ahead, check out this week's episode as I'm doing some prescribed burns, getting ready for some food plot management. Well, it's that time of year again. It's practically spring. It's one of my favorite times of the year. You know, after deer season and getting through all the cold and kind of twiddling my thumbs there in between deer season and turkey season, it's time to get out and do the things that I love to do that's going to better my chances and make it more enjoyable for when I hunt this fall. I'm talking about food plots, prescribed burns, timber stand management, and getting out there and just enjoying God's great creation. It's 70 degrees today. We're out here in one of our soybean plots that we planted last year from Eagle Seed. It did phenomenal. The soybeans, even with some of the drought conditions that we had last year, got to about three, three and a half foot tall on average. In the utilization cage, it's showing a little bit taller than that. Um, but we're going to come back into this particular plot and parts of it we're going to plant some clover chicory mix and then the rest of it we're going to come in plant the eagle seed soybeans but what we're doing today just because this is up against a lot of woods it gets a lot of leaves in it and so instead of coming in and trying to cultivate and work all this up with all the leaves in there it gets pretty compacted and piled up we're going to go ahead and burn it off a few days ago i came in and created a break around the perimeter of the food plot with a leaf blower came back in today retouch that. We have perfect wind conditions for about five miles an hour out of the south, southeast, and then we've got the leaves that are pretty dry. We're going to go through and burn this out and it's going to make it a lot easier when it comes time to planting. That soil is going to be pretty much prepared and bare and it's just going to be able to disc it up. So if you're going to prepare to burn a food plot when you're making your burn breaks around the outside perimeter, Go ahead, make them as wide as you can, better safe than sorry, always get help, call the fire in, and just make sure that you've taken all the necessary precautions to make sure that there's not going to be any risk. Uh, when you're going in, it doesn't matter if you're burning about an acre piece of property like we are here, or 15 to hundreds of acres, make sure that you take all the precautions fire is not any game it can be a great management tool for us that are out there trying to improve the quality of habitat for wildlife but otherwise make sure you know what you're doing get in touch with a professional or somebody that is willing to share some information with you and make sure you're going to do it right the first time
So we're going to try to feed you guys as much information as we can on everything that we do throughout the season. When we're planting food plots, we don't want to just tell you what we're planting, we want to tell you how we're planting, where we're planting, and why we're planting where we are. And so, in this particular area, it's a small piece of property, it's about a 10 acre piece of property. It's got a great wood lot to the east of it, it's got a lot of fields to the north and to the east of it, and it's got a great intersection point right here where a lot of draws come together before they get into the big standing timber. That timber is kind of a protected sanctuary area, and what we're trying to do is draw them out into this food plot, or at least as they're intersecting through here, slow them down, where it gives us a better chance for a shot. This food plot and its location have proved year in and year out that this is a hot spot and it's going to hold deer, grow deer, and stop deer and give us those opportunities that we're looking for. Now we have expanded it a couple times as our deer population has grown, we need to grow our food plots with them. Either that or you got to kill more deer. We just decided to go in and expand our plots, but if before you plant your plot, you make sure to take time, do your research, make sure your location is right for your food plot, and the seed type that you're planting is going to be the best for that area, it's going to save you time and money because you're not going to have to go back in and change things or change the location of a food plot. It's going to just set you up for next season. Well, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys saw some of the different camera angles there and are ready for the stuff that we're going to bring to you this season. Can't stress it enough. If you guys aren't subscribed to us, go ahead and subscribe at thg-tv.com. It's real easy. Click up there at the top, subscribe, and then go to your Gmail account or email account, whatever it may be. Hit accept. Or if you're on YouTube, go ahead and click subscribe. Well, until next time, go out of your way to get a youth or a new hunter involved in the outdoors. And as always, have a better than average day.